Hey, this is Damon Bungard. I'm the brand manager for Orion. And here today, we got my buddy Jaeger. We have our new Orion Kennels. And we're gonna talk about how to make kind of a, a really good use of some alternative meats or old meat or whatever you want, but it's gonna be your own dog treats from the game you've harvested. In this case, it's gonna be deer heart for this guy. Now, a lot of hunting dogs aren't very food motivated when it comes to off the shelf treats, but anytime there's raw meat involved, he'll pretty much do whatever I want. So we'll get started and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice it really thin and then we have some basil and some fresh mint and both of those are good greens. They're actually very healthy for dogs. They have some antimicrobial and, and antioxidant kind of factors. So just like good leafy greens are good for us, there are good herbs that are also good for dogs. We kind of take the cap off, set that aside in case he needs some more treats. And then I'm just gonna, as thin as I can get it, cut it into strips. So now that I have that kind of minced up into small treat size chunks, I'm gonna kind of separate it out into thirds just because I want to play around with some of the seasonings and see which one he responds to the most. So I'll have basically an unseasoned pile and then kind of a lightly seasoned pile and a heavier seasoned pile. So now I can start picking some of my basil. And anytime you want to use herbs um, on any dog treats, make sure you do the research and make sure that they're safe for dogs. There are a lot of herbs that aren't good. Uh, the mixed debate on garlic and levels, um, but certain things, cracked pepper, or other things you, you want to avoid with dogs. So in general, most of the leafy, leafy green herbs are, are pretty good. And here will be my kind of lightly seasoned and heavier seasoned pile. So this is ready to go into an oven now to be baked. It's basically just like jerky. We have an oven, we've got to go in at 200. We're just gonna let it dry out and keep the moisture open, or keep the door open, let the moisture out. We'll get it in there, dry it nice and crisp. It'll last a long time, and we'll see which one he likes best. All right, so my assistant chef has helped me extract the now the dried heart from the oven. And he's, he's pretty sold on it already. So again, we have the unseasoned, the kind of lightly seasoned, and the heavily seasoned, and I've tasted multiple. I can't tell much of a difference, and I don't think he cares much either. He just wants it. 